Well, Liam, a tough test. How did you? How did you see it? Yeah, um, we spoke about it before. The last game we played them, um, I won't play, you know, but I thought they, thought they brought it to us. Um, so we were expecting them to be physical, um, and we know that they won't, they won't, they won't die away from the game. They did that last time, you know, from full, full eighty minutes. Um, they were there, no breathing down his neck. So we didn't. We expected same again today. Um, I thought, thought we were probably way off where we have been all season. I think we completed at like fifty percent, which is very unlike us. Um, and I think when you start, to, there were you know three or four opportunities in that first half that probably looked like certain tries for us. You know, I mean, and, and fair play to them. They scrambled. They scrambled great. Um, I feel when like stuff like that happens, you start to panic a little bit because you're like, well, you know what I mean? You're coming in at half time with seven, six, they're, they're in front, and you're like, realistically, you know, we probably should be 16 to 18 points up. Um, but, you know, Paulie got us in at half time and just spoke about staying nice and composed, you know, not to panic, just go back to, to the game we, we, we started with um, and just get back into the grind and back into an arm wrestle with them. Probably felt like we didn't. We probably didn't do that. We'll come back out in the second half. We probably made it a tough, tough day for us. Um, but one thing I could probably say about this team is that they'll never stop working for each other. You know, defensively they'll keep turning up time and time again. Um, and I think, yeah, you know, like I said, I feel like we, we deserve the win, but we probably just made hard work of it. Did you feel in that first half as though that that lack of that, that anxiety and that lack of composure? We're just creeping into the game. Could you feel it creeping in as the as the minutes tick by in the first half? Yeah, definitely. I've, I think it was frustration. Like for me, it's probably I, I felt like a, a sense of frustration had, had come into it. Um, like I said, you know, we had three or four to me, three or four certain tries. You know, Maxes, Ian's. You know what I mean? It was just like where we're more or less over the line, and the ball comes out. Um, and I think yeah, you just start getting a little bit frustrated because you're like, well, you know, probably. Should be should be well in front here, and, and we're not. So, um, and then we just probably try to do a little bit too much. You know, we had Jerry breaking through them, and, and we'd try to do little offloads that we just won't we won't we won't get in. But so yeah, there's probably a little bit of frustration in it. Um, like I said, we come in at half time. We spoke about what needed fixing. Um, and we just went from there then. I mean, there won't have been many times this season that you'd have been behind at half time. That must have been a fairly, relatively new experience for, for this team this year. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. But um, I think one thing about us as a team is um, we, don't, we, won't, we wouldn't ever panic in that situation because we know that when we knew at half time that we still had another two, three gears, you know what I mean? Like, with that, that were a, an uncharacteristic. Performance from us in that first half, you know that was that was nothing that you've seen in Wakefield of, of past weeks, you know. So, and it's you know it's it's not always a bad thing to, to have games like that because sometimes you need them, you know. what I mean, when you when you're beating teams 66 nil and 72 six, you know. what I mean, it's sometimes you forget that when you, you need you need a game like that to keep you on your toes. Some people have that have said that after the game that going into the final that it's not a bad thing. To have before a final? Not at all, because I mean, you know, like I say, fair play to them, fair play to Mash, a lot of respect for him, you know, he's definitely turned their season around for them, especially the second half of the season. I feel like they've 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 really turned their season around, become a, a, a great team. Um and they brought it to us today, you know, it was a physical game, very physical, and I feel like, yeah, that, that was probably what we needed leading into next week because we know that whoever it's gonna be, if it's Toulouse or Bradford, it's gonna be, you know, another tough game. So yeah, not a bad thing for us. You had some defending to do in that second half as well. You're proud of the defensive effort because they, they put some pressure on you, didn't they? Yeah, definitely. Like I said that I said before, you know what I mean? Like that's for one thing I can say about this team is they'll 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 never stop working for each other, they'll keep turning up for each other, you know. Um they're a good group like that, you know, and we speak about stuff like that. The one percenters working off the ball, you know, never they don't stop until till we've got the ball. So I definitely think like, yeah, that's kind of built within us, that kind of attitude. Two tries in the last 15 minutes, seal it for you. One from your kick, really well-weighted kick just behind the line, Thornley in to touch it down, you must have been pleased with that one. Yeah, um, not not got many from uh, a kick assist this year, so yeah, I'll take it. Um, but I could just see that, yeah, there were a bit of space in behind and uh, I looked more to put a little bit of pressure on and try and get a repeat set, to be honest, but Ian managed to get through, so yeah, happy with that one.
So you're through to a grand final. You know, that's what the season's been all about, really, hasn't it? That's the journey that you've been on. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, we spoke about it, you know, that has that been one of our one of our goals, realistically, you know, the team that Paul has brought in um this year and I think how how well we've we performed throughout the year, you know, it's no no nine in saying that that, that was one of our goals to get to the grand final and you know, hopefully we can we can win next week. Just last one from me, home advantage helped to pull you through the crowd were well behind you as they so often are. Allowed today. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they've been fantastic all year. They literally have. I mean, home and away, to be honest, you know, they've turned out in numbers even when we've been away. So, yeah, full credit to them. They've really got us. I mean, they, they've got us through. That was a tough game today and they got us through that one. They get really behind you. They've been fantastic this season. And, yeah, I hope we can repair them uh, next week and, and by doing the job.